Hello, hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs and today we're going to be working on an art journal page. Let me just pull up my uh, video so that I can see what everybody's saying. Oops. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to see. I'm getting myself a little card ready so that I can spread this little homemade gesso onto my page. Hello, Nada. Hey, Isabel. <laughs> can you guys hear me okay? I got everything muted over here. So today we're going to be doing an art journal page is the goal. I've just made myself some gesso because I've completely ran out. So I made some gesso to use on my page. I just have to gesso it. So give me a second while I prepare this page. Paste us so. So I'm going to just do this and spread this out. This is my super duper large um, art journal. And the pieces that I'm gonna be using today are really large. So I figured I would use this. I really wasn't sure what I was gonna be doing today for today's live. I've been working all week on tomorrow's hot project. So I really had no idea what to do. <laughs> so hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Let me just thin this out as much as I can. As much as I can, where's my rag? Let me add a little bit more. Right here. Mujer de Dios. Yes, I am. Mujer de Dios, si soy. <laughs> hey, Jackie. How are you, darling? So, let me just um finish gessoing this page. My gesso is extremely simple. It is just baby powder and glue that's all you need you could add paint white paint if you want to it to um you know to bind it a little bit better but if you don't want to use up your white paints you don't have to i just made this batch right now because i didn't have any gesso so um while i let this kind of sit for a second or two and dry up a little bit i'm going to share with you guys what i'm going to be working on today um, or what I'm going to, you know, be incorporating into this page. Let me just detangle my wires here. I got my chat log right on the side over here. So I can hopefully see what everybody's writing. So um, I've, I was hoping that I was going to be able to incorporate um, these two things that I have here and these, um, this is something that I cut apart with my um, Cricut machine. The, the cartridge that I use um, is this one is called Art Nouveau or Art Nouveau. I have no idea how you pronounce it, but it's something like that. It's a super awesome cartridge and it's got all these beautiful um, images and just different little things in it. So in there, um, we have this vase. Now I did use a vase like this for a canvas that I did a couple weeks back. But I didn't use it in the way that it's intended to be used. I just used the, uh, you know, the silhouette of it. But this one, I went ahead and cut up all the little pieces, all the little bits and pieces that go into it. So it's either going to be this right here. And then um, this beautiful girl right here is also part of this cartridge. She's one of four, I believe, um, different maidens that are in here. So I'm trying to see if I can incorporate them both. Although I don't think um, size wise, I'm going to have enough room to be honest with you guys. So I might not be able to use them both. If I can use them both, then I'm going to definitely use the girl because come on now, I'll leave this one to use for a different project. 
um, where I can just do something else to that. But she's, um, I cut her out kind of long and I think that's part of the reason why she's not gonna fit. Cause originally I had wanted to make a canvas but I've done so many canvases um, within the past couple weeks that I just wanted to um, work on my journal a little bit. I haven't done some journaling in a little bit. Um, thank you, Sasso. Who where did I get that? I got that at the dollar store. I didn't steal it from nobody's baby, okay? <laughs> I didn't leave any babies out there powderless, I guarantee you. <laughs> so um, this girl right here is in layers. And um, I've cut up our, all the different little layers that go on to here. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna use her. So I'm probably gonna create some kind of a scene for her. Um, I missed a little spot right here. And um, I think that that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing because what I wanted to do originally was to put her up here and then put it like she's coming out of here. But I don't think I'm going to have enough room. Well, maybe I do. But I think it will cut off um, some of her dress and I don't want her dress to be cut off. So chances are that I'm just going to use her. So let me put these other pieces away so that I don't lose them because it was painstakingly a long time to get all of this done. <laughs> so um but this is awesome i mean this is extremely beautiful all the different little bits and pieces um that go into it now the problem is going to be to put it all away um so let me just take these bigger pieces out and put the ones that do fit in this bag in here And maybe I can incorporate some of those. Let me see. I don't know yet. Maybe I can cut it apart and just um, use some bits and pieces of it to embellish my page. So I might still use it. I won't use the vase, but I might be able to still use um, some of this. And I call it a vase, but it's not a vase. So I might still be able to use some parts of this. So I'm just going to leave this to the side for now, um, just in case I can. If I can, then I will. But she's going to be more or less the main um, focus of this page. And she pretty much goes like this. Super pretty. But she's got her little face, so you can create some shadow if you want. She's got a little dress that comes with, comes with her. And she just pretty much starts to kind of come together like so. Got this cute little bow that goes on her dress. All these different little bits and pieces. What did you say? Bebe de Maria. Hijo de, hijo de Tony, primo del hombre que trabaja en el... <laughs> Ay, tú te has pasado. I don't know where he comes up with it. <laughs> I have no idea who Maria is, although I have a few Marias in my family. I also have a Tony, but I don't think that those two are married. <laughs> um... So this dries pretty quick. It's more or less getting there. Let me get some scraps because we're going to definitely need some scraps. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to keep this page somewhat simple. And let's see. I'm going to get some fonts and um, Um, I think I'm gonna, while I let this dry, what I'm gonna do real quick though, I'm gonna emboss some paper so that I can go ahead and add some texture in here. So I'm gonna emboss um, some paper. I'm gonna use this brick one. So I'm gonna grab myself some cardstock and emboss um, a couple sheets of this. I'm gonna double layer them so that I can do like two at a time so that um, I can do this quickly. And again, completely impromptu because this is not what I had expected to do, but it is what is gonna happen today. Gonna happen today. That's what's gonna happen today. Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Today. Too late. Today. today is the day. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my God. Yours and mine, baby. Yours I and mine. Yeah, you like I do like I do like I do Um, so let me just grab some paper. <laughs> and I think since she's all blue, I'm gonna get some of this pink right here. And I'm just gonna cut this up into what I need it to be. Is that too much glare? I think so. It's making you blind. All right, you know what we're gonna do with it. <laughs> oh my goodness. No hay ninguna mala. How dare I? Mañana domingo, mañana se se pensa. Bueno. So, I'm going to cut some of these up so that I can get some texture. I'm going to glue some texture onto this page. Um, since I'm not going to do any embossing and I don't want to have to heat set anything. And I, again, I didn't really prepare too much for this. So just bear with me, you guys. I got my machine ready. Just take me a few seconds to get this thing rolling and get those pieces out. I literally spent all day cutting up all of those other pieces. Because you have to do them one, you know, one piece at a time, depending on the colors that you're using. So that did take up most of my day. So more or less, we have this really pretty kind of brick pattern here, and I've layered it so that I can get two of them at a time. I think with two of them. Maybe one more set, I'll, I'll, be, I'll have more than enough so that I can go ahead and cut them up as I need. This book is really, really large. So I normally don't use this book for um, other things other than really large projects, which this is definitely going to be one of those. So how has everybody's weekend been so far? Hopefully you guys are having an awesome weekend. You guys have had a lot of R&R. &R. And I think, like I said, maybe one more. Maybe one more set. Ought to be good. Hey, Tanya, how are you, darling? Ready for the grand reveal tomorrow? I think tomorrow's gonna be super awesome. The hop. The hop, the hop. Yeah, no ice cream for that, please. All right, so ay sazoncito, men, sazoncito, sabrosito, te voy a dar un pecosoncito. Ay, Jesús. So I got some pieces here. And I think I'm gonna um I'm not gonna layer it like this, but I'm gonna start cutting into it and just putting bits and pieces here. I'm thinking I want to make something like a wall um behind her. So that's gonna be what I'm gonna try to do. Um I'm gonna just take up all these edges here and glue 45 minutes. I'm taking a long time already and I haven't even started. <laughs> uh, oh man. Sasona play nice today. Sasona play nice. All right, so. <laughs> We're just playing. 
We don't promote violence. We don't promote violence. Not at all. Not at all. Eso fue un diquito la más. Un diquito guayado. Un diquito ahí. Un diquito la más. So let's see. Ah. Uh, what's that? Hold on. My camera about to go flying. Stay, camera, stay. My camera about to go flying, man. Oye, que el coquí que cuando regresa pasando todo el mundo. I'm going to go to Puerto Rico. This is I'm thinking about my mom. My mom is in the yard right now. She has. Um, yeah. Uh, so water out there. Why? What's wrong with our water? What you going to say? Go ahead. Yeah, they just still drink the water out there. What you going to say about my water over there? I make it talk fast. <laughs> yeah, probably. Because <laughs> we do talk fast. I'm not going to lie. We do talk fast. We do have that. We do have that. We do have that. I won't lie. We do have that, you guys. Um, I don't know. Yeah. No, no vintage. That's your department, baby. That's your department. Yeah. I'm not. I know. <laughs> I know you're not. But you always blow it out the water, so I ain't worried about you. I ain't worried about you. I like to do it on Sunday because I get the help from God. You get the help from God? Yeah. <laughs> well, that works. That works. That's all. I got you. He says, let there be crafts. <laughs> and you got it done, right? <laughs> he says, let there be crafts. And that song's like, yeah, I got it. Um, let's see. So I'm just like adding little bits and pieces here. I'm not really quite sure. Um, what aesthetic exactly I'm looking for, but I will do this till I feel that it's right. I'll do this till I feel that it's right. And we're going to get it like that. Just little bits and pieces. Little bits and pieces, you guys. Little bits and pieces. So, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and make the announcement now. After much debating, which you guys know that I've done quite a few of here, I'm going to be doing um, a little bit of an auction, I guess. I guess I'll call it that. Of some of the stuff that I have here, like um, some of my crafts that I've created, some of my artwork that I've created um, over the over like you know the span of time, because I need to refresh my palette. Number one, um, and number two, I need to make more room to create more stuff. So I think um, after much deliberation, that I'm gonna go ahead and do it and see how it goes. I won't be doing them all the time, but I want to see more or less, you know, how the whole thing kind of pans out. So I'm just kind of filling in just different... Um, little bits and pieces here and there. So I will have some gluing to do. I don't even know where I'm gonna put this at. 
Maybe I'll put it in like right there. And then I'm gonna do um we'll see. We'll see what I'm gonna do. I don't know yet. Yes. So we'll see how that kind of goes. Um I'm excited. I'm a little bit worried. I've never really been one to sell my art. Usually I give it away. So I don't know about since I've given away so much stuff if anybody would even want to <laughs> buy it. But um we'll see. I have a few pieces here that um I'm gonna test it out with and I'm not gonna give a set price. It's gonna be, I guess, whatever you guys wanna pay for it, plus whatever the shipping is gonna be. Um so I'm gonna hopefully try to figure that out within the next couple of um days or so. And I will be announcing my uh, my giveaway winner soon as well. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I know for a fact I'm gonna have almost everything that I created for the shabby um, the shabby hop. I'm gonna be almost everything that I created: the hat, the shoes, um, the mask, the dress form. I don't think I'm gonna be doing the dress form only because I made the dress form so dang tall. That I, there's really no way for me to ship it. Like I have no way for me, unless I take it apart. Like I don't want to have to do that. But there's really no way for me to ship that just because it's so large. But um, the um, album thing that I made for that, I know I'm gonna put that in there. Um, some of the other pieces that I have here. So I'm gonna have quite a few things um, to give away. So that should be interesting. So we'll see how that's gonna all kind of go. I'm gonna go ahead and do some stamping on here real quick. And stamp it out. Stamp it out. Yeah, buddy. Um, let me get my black. That's what I'm saying. So it'll be the shipping plus whatever they want to pay. So once I see the size of it, then I'll let you guys know more or less what the shipping is going to be. Plus the shipping is going to change. Like if you end up buying multiple items, like obviously your shipping is going to change because I'm going to have to put it either in a, in a box or I'm going to have to put it in a bigger package. I don't know yet, but it's going to be quite a few. Less than that, I think. Give or take, why? You're gonna buy everything out? I'm trying to make room. Are you gonna buy everything out? I'm trying to make room. Or are you gonna place it? I got my stamp upside down because I got my script upside down. Ugh. So we'll see how that kind of goes. It'll be a new experience for me. I've never, like I said, never really sold my stuff before. So we'll see how that kind of goes. This should be fun. I've seen a lot of people do them. Um, so I'm probably going to need um, some help for that day. Are you asking me? Yeah. All right. I would love to be part of this. Go, 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 go. Go! <laughs> um, so let's see, let me add a little bit of this. Your baby's calling your name. She said, come here, mama. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> the wild wild said, hurry up. Why are you leaving me alone? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Ooh. Yeah, she ain't playing either. She's like, yo, where you at? Mama, come back for your child. Come back for your child. I'm not taking any more. What's that? What? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're the last time of this. Oh, let me see. Did you do that? No. Anymore. Did you do that? 
No, don't let her hustle you. <laughs> that's for something else. That's that's why I had that com conversation was directed towards me because right. it was for something else. Ah, you think you're slick? Yes. She thinks she's slick. Catch them when they're distracted. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Just give me a few. Exactly. I need a few hours. I need some minutes. I say hours. I ain't say minutes. She tried to mess me. Yeah, she tried to catch you. Yeah. <laughs> she she said, Mama's distracted. Can you buy this for me? <laughs> she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, me too. Me too. I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an awesome, awesome day. Awesome, awesome day. You want to go back to our challenge soon, too? Uh, yes, our evening, right? Our, our challenge. Our life challenges. Yeah. Yeah, soon. that's coming very soon, you guys. Uh, we just took a temporary pause because we see. had to get some stuff together, but um, we are We had to do compra. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> yeah. But we're coming. We're coming back. About to get on online. Yeah, we have to like pretty much just oh, get right, our, our ducks in a row. More, no diga eso, because not a third world. We just didn't want to do challenges just for the sake of doing challenges. We wanted them to be challenging. You know, be be awesome. I didn't want to eat no more hot soup. They all came out. <laughs> so since that was on fire, it was like, no more, no more. <sighs> I almost passed out. I know you did. Remember, the Israel does know us because she knows us. But I almost passed out. That, that he was getting to me. I was like, he was like, Charlie, you know. He said, Lord, please help me. I don't like TV. Oh, oh, bless me. I don't like TV. Not on live. Oh, I was, I was, I was, I was crying. Is it remembers? Yes, it's for my face. I'm light skin. I turn white as heck. He <laughs> turns see through. I was white as heck. Yeah, he's, he goes transparent mode. Almost white. Move that again. The uh, the you're fine. You're fine. I was burning up too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. That that last that no, last that candy was nasty too. Yeah, that candy was I nasty, but that candy's, not, it's nasty. that candy's disgusting. That candy was okay, but that rind egg, the rind milk, ugh. and that bar. Ugh. Oh my god, that was so gross, man. I definitely don't want to do that again. So I'm just gluing over them just to coat them because um I need to be able to you know add other stuff to these if I needed to. So I'm just gonna coat them right over. Okay. Thank you. I, I feel like the angles I off. Oh, you know. I just watch you as you play some crazy stuff with the light. <laughs> and I say crazy, I mean crazy. Hey, listen, I say crazy. I strive crazy on crazy. This is my format of, of, of speaking. I but strive on crazy, my friend. That's nice. Don't like that. Right, I just doing. throw caution to the wind. I'm like, but it's I see you things that you do like, before I get on the radio. They don't be coming out saying. Like, I can't redo the same thing I do twice I either, so I don't feel bad. <laughs> I tried to put blue on a page for one video, but like three pages, I stopped. What the heck? Why? <laughs> they told me to put Mod Pod on my page, and I they won't tell you if I'm going to lie. I'm in mean, my video, and the whole page weighed like 10 pounds. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you put too much Mod Pod. Oh, <laughs> I can't recreate my stuff half the time either. Because I literally forget what I do. 
Do it two seconds after I do it. I just hope that this will um, not take forever to dry. But while this is kind of setting up, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, start doing some of the other, uh, I'm gonna start building the doll up, start gluing her down and adding her shading and stuff like that while I let this page kind of set up and then I'll come back into it, add some colors, um, add different things here and there. Oh, my ears ringing, bit my tongue. I love your right. <laughs> it's my right, but I don't want nobody talking about me. I don't care. <laughs> don't say my name. <laughs> don't say my name unless you're going to call me <laughs> and tell me what you going to say. What's his name? What? What's the law right? <laughs> See, we'll be having conversations with Tanya. <laughs> That's the app, the little phone app. Mm. It'd be having conversations with Tanya. <laughs> Who are the phones used for conversation? <laughs> Ring the alarm. I think somebody's calling. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Now, who you be? I be the man in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, really did it. <laughs> I be the man in the mirror. <laughs> who you be? I'm the man in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see. I do apologize. I need to jump in the water. Listen, you hear it. It's all right. It's all right. The more the merrier, man. I don't mind. I don't mind. That's considered our journal, what you're doing right now? Yes. Which makes me because you're using a book, right? Because I'm using a book. Yeah, I got a book, too. I know you do. Because I sold book. That's right. Who? Sazon. Sazon. Now Zazon. Used to be Zazon. Now it's just Sazon. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to layer too much, but I do want to layer up. So. <laughs> Everything always looks ugly at the beginning, and then at the end, it's like, oh, okay. So it did work out. <laughs> I don't be trusting half of my stuff half the time. I just glue wherever. Like, at this point in time, I don't even care. I'm just like, get on there. Get on there. <laughs> Yeah, me too, man. What did you do to me today? No, you taco Saturday. That you said taco. Let's have some tacos today. Yeah, and me like Saturday. a like a ding dong. I said, okay, bring the stuff. Oh, you did it. Oh, God. So we had tacos today, and I am so full, you guys. Mm, tacos. I literally became a narcoleptic for like ten minutes. Like I just kept falling asleep and waking up, falling asleep and waking up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn carbs. <laughs> That's the kind of No, it's the, 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 um, the corn shells. That's, the 10 pounds of kind of That's where the carbs is at. It's in the dang shells. Kind of Everything else is good. It's just those dang shells. All right, I think I'm, I'm good. good. Yeah, I'm good with tacos for a minute. Mira, no me mencione tacos for a while. Chuletas tomorrow. Chuletas, 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 not chuletas. I just want to drink water tomorrow. <laughs> I just want to drink water tomorrow. Lord, please just let me drink some water tomorrow. That's all I want to do. I want to drink some water tomorrow. Um, let me add some of this trim that I have here. My phone. Okay, ew, what the hell? <laughs> 
<laughs> you making plans <laughs> don't stop like plans to me <laughs> i don't know about all that <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I didn't try to make those kind of plans. Lord help me, please. Lord help me. <laughs> you say you, you say I, I don't want water tonight. Yeah, I don't have no plans. That's what I mean. Hold on, that's the water. <laughs> no, no, Lord, please don't let me have that kind of day tomorrow. <laughs> I'm begging you. I don't want to have that kind of day tomorrow, please. Ay, Jesús, can I just have the aguacate? No, tú estás pidiendo mucho. Yo pasé ahí todo el día en la cocina. Not too much. No, lo que tú quieres beber es agua. You want water down soda. That's what he's looking for. He's looking for water down soda, you guys. Un pernil. Un pernil. Eh, Oh, for crema, yeah, for la crema tato. Si yeah. tú me lo regalas, yo me lo como. Un pernil con mashed potato, gravy. Oh, man. Ah, you're looking for, you're looking for something else. I want flan. También flan. Ah, Dios. Flan, ¿qué más tú quieres? Jackie gave you a whole bunch of thumbs up. Nice. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie, the Spanglish is heavy today. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, I think we do some hosts too on the video. She really, she really gave some good sweets too, man. I'm like, wow. Jackie, did you get your package yet? You should have received it hopefully by now. Yes. Wow. I like making my own flan because I like to add like pineapples to it or yeah, I like to I add like cherries to it. I like to add stuff to it. I don't like to just make it basic. I like all that extra stuff on it. So pick it out. Flan, plain flan. Just like it's a in bodega. No, tú quieres flan de lata. Yo no quiero flan de lata, carajo. No de lata. It's got a little container that you can put the foil. That's the lata. You got to put foil. It's got the boy in front of the thing with a spoon. Let me see. I think I'm missing some stuff in here. I don't know what I'm going to add to this. <coughs> maybe, maybe. I could do some little fibers. I'm just looking for little bits and pieces and stuff that I have. Arroz con leche. Arroz con leche dulce. I love my pateles. I got man. I like them, but I like them when somebody else makes them. I don't like making them. I said, kill, we used to eat it like six days a week. Patele con azoga, patele con mashed potato, patele solo, patele con mi mamá. I can't do it anymore. Patele de pollo, patele de puerto. I like patelitos. I like the real patele with the wall. With the races and everything. With razors? Raisins. Oh. Razors. <laughs> like, what the hell? What do you think about razors? Raisins. Uh, raisins. Oh, yeah. I like it with raisins. Yeah. It makes it more authentic to me when they have the That's raisins. Do, so yeah, I love that. My grandma used to be the big old, a whole bunch of plates. So used to be like six I like the one that doesn't have the sugar. I like the one with the raisins, anything. I mean, the rice pudding is good, but I like the other one. Oh, yeah. I've done flan a couple times. Flan is good, but man, you flan know, takes a long time to make. Yeah, if you eat a, if you like eat like flan, like I like flan, but if you eat a lot of flan, you better have a membership at a gym because the flan is like, oh man. If you eat a lot of flan, you better have that insulin ready, boy, because you, you gotta have a you sugar shot. Be at the gym membership for all you straight. I'm scared of flying. They're going to be like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? You're going to be like, flop, 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 flop. You're going to get stuck. No, we can't fly with that flying. Hey. Yeah. Hey, that will put some weight on you. Wow. What? That Crazy. sugar alone will get you. Yeah. All that nice sugar that goes into making flour. It's so good. They're delicious. But you can't eat that every day. I don't want some ice cream tonight. No, 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 no. No. Get that out of your mind. No, no ice cream tonight. No, no more than no, please, no, please, no, please, please, no, please. I never that. 
no, 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 I just don't have it in me. I don't have the power. <laughs> I don't have the power. I'm telling you, I don't have the power. Not today. There's a lot of glue on this page. <laughs> There's a lot of glue on this page. What time is it? Yeah, I have it. <laughs> I could get 30 minutes just glue and glue. <laughs> Oh, cheesecake is good. Yeah. I'm not too much of a fan of cheesecake, cheesecake but I don't mind cheesecake. Yeah, I, do. I don't mind cheesecake. It makes me thirsty. I just don't like too much of it. Like, I'll have a small little piece of cheesecake. Who makes the best cheesecakes? I think it's all uh, behind Brooklyn. Yeah, you got the best cheesecakes. Well, I don't know about anybody else's cheesecake, but they're all right. That's someone, I forgot what it is. I think it's someone in Brooklyn that make the best cheesecake. A cheese factory. Cheese factory, yeah. yeah they make the best cheesecake. All right, I think I'm done with this part of it. We're going to let that kind of dry out a little bit. I should give it a coating of gesso real quick. Even though it has, has glue on it, I'm going to add some clear gesso over it just to... Um, just to help it out a little bit. Hopefully that'll help it out a little bit. This is clear gesso. I gotta buy another tub because I was running out. This is just another level of sealant. This is why I gessoed my page before I started because I knew that um I was gonna add a whole bunch of stuff on here. No, they do. Yeah. Nice. I'm just kind of slapping it on there, especially over these um fibers and stuff. I'm gonna be adding some color to this page, so I'm gonna put this to the side now and start working on my little girl here. So this is what we've got right now. We'll see how it ends up. We'll see how it all ends up. All right. So this won't take me too, too long to put together. I feel like I might have to go and dry that page up, but hopefully I won't have to. But we'll see. So we have some pieces here. I don't got to do anything with. Um, but what's it? Uh, let's see. Let me just clean my brush out because it will, um, it will get dry and it'll turn into a silicone brush. So all this glue I've done put on here. Let me just spray this down a little bit and try to get some of that glue off of there as much as I can. Just a little bit. So let's see. Let's see. What do we have here? I'm gonna play with my new little silkies. My silkies, which were the crayons that Isabel sent me. I haven't tried them yet, so I'm gonna try them now. I'm gonna grab this brown right here. Just to give her, oh, I was tearing off the wrong side. Just to kind of give her a little bit of a shadow. Um, I 
do want to apply this wet and not so much dry. So let me spray. I'm gonna do this. Oh, that's a bit all the way. Easy cleanup, you guys. Easy cleanup. <laughs> Just got a little bit of that in there. I'm just going to go around her face a little bit. And go down to where her shoulders are. Just to give her a little bit of shading. Something subtle, nothing too major. Yes. They are cool, Nada. Very, very cool. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of um, just shading around her face because I do have a little piece of the face that I'm gonna be attaching, but I want her to have a little bit of shading on here. So when I add her face on here, she's got a little bit of shading going on. Okay. Just gonna lightly um, add a little bit of this. And that should be good for that. So let's get her glue in. Now for this, I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do, I don't know, should I? No, I'll leave it. I was gonna glue, um, is there i was gonna add some white to the face so the eyes look white but i'll leave that i'll leave that as it is i think i think that'll be fine i can always add shading wherever i need it and let's build ourselves some layers and let's make her come to life so that you guys can kind of see what I am doing. So let's level her up with the corner here. And this is an old, old cartridge, like super old, I think. Does it say here from one? 2011, I think. This is super old, this cartridge, and it's amazing. And I'm surprised that I got it for the price that I got it. It's got beautiful things on it, beautiful, beautiful pieces. I think this is the face. I have two different ones, so I'm hoping this is the one. So I did cut out the wrong size the first time. Let's see, I don't want her to look scary. All right, so we have her face. And then, see I have this other face. I think this is the bigger face. 
Let's see. No, this is actually the smaller one. Whereas I think I added the right one. It looks a little bit odd to me when I'm looking at it, but I, I can see it that it looks the way it's supposed to look like, but it looks wonky here. <laughs> it looks really wonky here. And she's supposed to have some little flowers there, so I'll see what I come up with because I think I lost most of the little flowers. To be honest with you, I thought that they were like um pieces that, you know, like little um scraps from when you cut it out. You know, it has those little wonky shapes. So I might have to find a little flower punch or something and cut out some little flowers that go there. We'll see. So again, I'm going to layer this. Attaching it to this edge here. We'll grab another piece of paper. Smooth that out. We have uh, a bow here that um, I believe goes here. So we're gonna do that. And I almost like it the way it is. Like you don't even have to cut out all these pieces if you don't want to. I'm so used to just cutting out the one shape that I want and I normally don't go for the layers, but when it came to these beautiful girls, I just had to go for that layer. I was like, no, I gotta cut that layer out because that's everything right there. Let's see. So this kind of goes here. Kind of goes there, so. And everything just kind of falls in place um, nicely if you put it in the right spots. Then everything kind of just falls in place. I know that on YouTube, people must have gone crazy when this cartridge came out. The only problem is, is that the quality of the videos are probably not going to be that great because of just how old um, the cartridge itself is and the quality of videos back in 2011 and 10 um, wasn't that great. Yeah. So this kind of goes like that. Isn't she adorable? Thank you, Nita. And what's awesome is you could cut them out in any in any shape. Do I have to make this any more clearer? Is the focus good? Focus is good. Awesome. 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 All right, so there are some other pieces that go onto this. I just have to figure out what goes where. Okay. The only thing that I don't like um, is that, like, you get the instructions, right? Like, you get the book, and the book tells you, like, um, let's say if I wanted to cut these out, like, I wanted to cut this girl, like, it tells you, but. It doesn't really give you much instruction of how you should be layering them. Like you should, you kind of have to figure it out on your own. Like it doesn't tell you part one, part two, part three, part four. Like it doesn't tell you like this goes on top of this, this goes on top of that. It just gives you pictures. Um, that's the only thing that I don't really like so much is that it doesn't give you that um, detailed instruction of what goes where. Thank you guys, thank you. 
Oh, sexy. Uh oh, <laughs> she says sexy, ladies and gentlemen. She says sexy. Um, and yes, she is very much um, somewhat provocative, maybe, right? I think this one goes there. I'm just going to do this. I'll do the one around here. Add that little bit of glue right on there. And I got my cartridge off of um, eBay. And I've been eyeballing this cartridge for a while. So I think that's all the little bits and pieces of her. Now this goes in her hair. But again, I think I lost or I misplaced or I did something. I don't know what I did. So you have to kind of play puzzle puzzle maker here to kind of figure out what goes where. I think that kind of goes like that. And then there's a little flower that goes in the center, but that kind of looks weird to me. So I probably just gonna add my own little flowers if I can. Um, so I don't think there's any more little bits and pieces to this. And if there is, I must have threw them out when I swept up all the little bits and pieces off the desk. I'm gonna leave these out because I am gonna play some more with these. I'm gonna add some color onto my page with them. So I'm gonna leave these out. I really wanna play with them thoroughly. So that's pretty much it for her, I think. Um, let me go ahead and add maybe a little bit more shadow. Just a little bit more, I think. Um, They can just a really light kind of watercolor there. Just gonna kind of um go at her hands a little bit. I'm gonna wet up all her hair because my brush has a little bit of glitter on it from the metallic luster, so it's giving her hair a little bit of sparkle because it still has some of that um, dried up pigment on it from when I was playing with my waxes. So she's got a little bit of shine. I don't know if you guys um, would be able to see that at all. Got a little bit of shine to her hair. Not to, nothing too major, but just a little bit. I would have loved for them to have had uh, maybe like individual hair, like another piece that was just for the hair so that I could make her hair like even flow out a little bit more, but that'll work. That'll work for me. And I'm not gonna finish her face off. I don't think. Just gonna add a little bit of that shading right there. Just to dry my, just to dry my brush. So we have her complete. Um, I have some of these here, which again, I was thinking that I'm gonna cut some of these up, take them off their base here. And they come with some flowers and some different things. So I think I'm gonna build this and then just cut up bits and pieces that I can glue onto that page wherever I need it to be. I might even use this as the base where she's kind of standing at so that she's kind of standing on something and I don't have I don't have her like kind of like on nothing. So I might do that as well. So let me play with this a little bit that way I give that page a little bit, a few more minutes to dry up. So I'm just gonna build this first and then glue them onto where they go. 
and then I'll just cut them apart as I need to. So let's pull out some colors here. Let's see what we have. This is like a what, like a mauve kind of color? What color is this? Okay, they don't have names, so. Oh, I like that. That's really pretty. It's like a mauve kind of color. Oh, uh, it's like a pink, but it looks brown on the thing. So you gotta swatch out your stuff. <clears throat> and so, I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to these flowers. Just a little bit of color. So that it um, has a little bit more intensity to it. I'm loving these crayons, Isabel. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Muchas gracias, my friend. Muchas gracias. Now, this is just regular car stock, so it's not made to handle water, per se. So, um, but I'm okay with that because I think it'll just give it more texture. So, I'm actually pretty cool with it. And what I'm going to do with this is pretty much just um, kind of just... Like if I was distressing it, just dab a little bit on these edges. Just a little bit onto these edges. Hello, Davida. How are you, darling? Tell her that he is real. It's just that nobody can prove it. Because he doesn't let nobody see him. And Mama Claus doesn't like people that peekaboo. Tanya gonna have to eat them cookies in the middle of the night so she don't notice. Oh no, that sucks. That sucks. My shoulder's been killing me for the past couple of weeks. I have to go see somebody and figure out what the hell's wrong with it. Thank you. 
they do lighten up from what I can tell. Once they start drying, they lighten up. So that's really cool. So you don't have to worry too much about them being too um, bold. Like I was starting to worry like, oh no, I left, I made them too bold. But um, it starts to lighten up a little bit as it dries. So that's pretty cool. He's adding a little bit of brush strokes in them. All right, so here go my flowers. Me flowers. We have this piece and this piece go together, I think. I think I'm missing a piece, but I don't know. I don't know what I did with it. Yes, you see I'm having so much fun right now. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm having a ball right now, girl. What? What? I'm going to do both sides on this little one right here because I don't know which is the side that's going to fit into that spot. So um, I don't even know if I'm going to end up using this or not, but we're going to do that. And then I'm going to do the same with these. With these, I think, whoa, where are you going? Come back over here. These are like the little um buds. They go on the top. So I'm gonna add some water here. Let's add some color. Add quite an amount of color here. Let's mix this all the way around. Let's drop these in. Oh, I've got a piece. Well, might as well add this one in there too. I think that's it for those. Let's dry that up. Yes, they're awesome. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Just gonna add a little bit of color in here. Grab that base. Right at that base right there. Make them a little bit darker right there. Yeah, I can't really rotate my shoulder the way I, I need to, the way that it's supposed to. Um, so I've definitely injured it somehow. I mean, they look a little bit different, all of them. Oh, I missed one. Dang it. I missed one. A little bit. That was super dark. All right. See how much longer it takes me to do mixed media than it does for me to do anything else? <laughs> All right, so let's add these little buds in here. And they're all pretty much the same size, so it doesn't matter. 
which one goes where. And again, these are not numbered, so you don't really know what goes where anyways. So just glue them down. Any way that you can. And I guess these are supposed to be like roses, little rosebuds, I guess. I don't know. They do have, um, the individual flowers have names, but this one didn't have uh, a name for the flowers. It just goes by like vase one, vase two. And then I guess I'll be sticking some of these around um, around her. Like once I create my scenery and my background, I'll be sticking these somewhere in there. And I'm probably gonna water down some metallic paints. And um, now that I'm thinking about it, give these a quick little brush over. Now this goes on top of this, which is why these don't need anything because it's actually, did I put this backwards? Just flip this part over. Let's be smart about it. There we go. <laughs> this part goes literally um, layered right on top of that because that's how this whole thing is. It's just layer by layer by layer. Thank you, Jackie. Um, so now that I've got those, let me go ahead and get this and layer my flower. Even though my book is gonna be flat, close flat, I mean, I do want to um, add just a little bit of it being open in the center, just a little bit. Creates a little bit of shading, a little added shading there. Here we go. Let's add these flowers where they go. Thank you. They do look awesome, don't they? And you can see the shading. You guys get a better view from the top than I do with what's in front of me, honestly. It's a completely different perspective when you're seeing things from the top than when you're looking at them from ground level. Sometimes it's better to be the watcher and not the doer. <laughs> All right, so so there is it. And then this is gonna go glued on here. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna use this as a vase, which is why I'm not necessarily gluing down every little bit and piece of this together the way that it should. I'm only gonna be using most of this and not all of this.
so we'll see what parts get used and what parts don't. Um, chances are that I'm not gonna be using this part right here. So I'm gonna just snip these off and snip these off so I could tuck these in places. So I have one flower there. And one flower here. We have two flowers. From here, we are gonna use a little leaf. So I am gonna grab the little leaf from there. Snip this here. Wrap this like that. What? I said something that didn't come out right? What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Let's see, let's see. Whatever it was, I didn't mean to say it in the way that you took it. You are thinking wrong. <laughs> Get your mind out the gutter, girl. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. All right, that's another one. And... Just take a little bit off. And let's see. Just taking this little bit off right here. All right, so let me just move this, move this down. All right, all right. We're almost done with this part of it. We can go back to our page and let's see what magic comes out of this. All right, so what the heck happened to this one here? Buckled on me. All right, so we got that. Don't worry about those ends. Let's bring this baby back. Where we are, somewhat dry, not all the way dry. Somewhere, somewhere in between here and there. Some things are not dry. 
but we're going to make do with the way that it is. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we do here. Let's see. Oops. Let's see what we do here. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Very, very nice, right? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and it's awesome that I can I was able to still use them, even though I'm not using them for the project that they were intended. So she gonna go somewhere here. I'm gonna put this somewhere there, or maybe like this. Put her right on top of that. And that's the goal. So let's do some spraying here. Um, I think, I think, I think. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. None of my sprays work. Sucks. They go down, nothing comes out. Worst. Let's do it like this now. That's gonna take me forever. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it like this. Let's see, let's see. See, let's see. I don't want to spill too much. I don't want to spill too much, and there goes the flow. <laughs> Just want to add a little bit of color here and there. And hopefully, you guys can see that. Just add a little bit of color here and there. Whoa, all righty. I think that's enough of that. I spilled the whole dang thing on here. I said I don't want to spill too much. Carmen, who are you lying to? Girl, you are the queen of excess. Get another one. Hi, Teresa. How are you, darling? Okay, so where's the top for that one? Oh, there it is. Let's grab another color and try to add some more. Right? That's what we're here for. Another one that don't work. And this is brown. This is brown. I don't need brown. I don't need brown. I want another color. Let's add some of this coppery espresso one. Because it'll work. It won't work. It doesn't matter. We're gonna, we're gonna hook it up. We're gonna hook it up anyway. This is what whoop, this is what we want to do. We won't do this. this. We won't do this like this. I know, darling, I know. Don't worry. Sometimes we have to go MIA a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, I've been talked off that ledge a couple times. So I'm just gonna slap some of this color on there with my also humongous brush. Thank you. 
Let me cover that up. Here's my cover for this. Here it is. Let's grab another one. Black. Let's grab some black. They need to come up with, they're going to have sprays. They need to come up with a way to like, now I have sprays that get clogged. This is ridiculous. You waste all this money, five, six, seven dollars for a bottle of, you know, these little sprays. You use them three times and they get clogged on you. And then they want to say that it's user error. We all can be using it wrong. Like, it's ridiculous. Instead of making spray bottles, they should make droppers. That makes sense. Pick up the color, drop a little bit here. Spray it with some water. Let's be smart, people. I just don't have a dropper, so I can't do it. <laughs> yes, we're super excited about tomorrow as well. What's up? I'm about to tilt this baby up. What's gonna happen here? I gotta put these off to the side. I don't wanna mess these up. So I have to leave them all together. I can't get my book to turn the way I need it to. Come on, baby. Saturation, saturation. There we go. Let's go, let's go. Let's add some more color. What else? Does this yellow one work? Of course not. Why would it work? Why would it work, Carmen? Why would it work? Let's see. Looking for some colors here. So bear with me. something pretty to add. Where's that blue? Here it is. Let me water down some of this blue so I can add some blue in there. Yeah, it's quite a few of us, um, Jackie. It is quite a few. Put you this way. Put you that way. We got some napkin. Pages humongous. All right, so let me do this. This is brown espresso. Let 
and on my page is um, full of glues that haven't set all the way correctly. So I'm gonna work with the wetness that is already on there and use that to my advantage right now. And I'm using um, Iced Espresso. And I'm using the flat side of the brush to just um, have it pick up some of these uh, bricks, bricks, uh, walls, um, embossed papers that I put on here. And I'm just gonna do this until I feel completely satisfied or at least vindicated, <laughs> whichever comes first. Getting my Picasso on right now. Just having some fun. Let's get another color and try to do the same thing. Maybe some of this gold. I just have to wet it down a little bit because it's kind of dry. Dry my brush real quick. Okay. And pretty much just get a load of my brush with some of this gold. Trying to bring in a little bit of a lighter color. In here. Because my page is so wet, I do run a really high chance of uh, the colors becoming kind of muddy. But as most of you guys know, I really can dry it right now. But then we'll be left without a live stream. If my power will go out. I am trying to see what I can do to um, remedy that situation so that I can start using the heat tool while I'm live, especially for pro um, projects like this. But hopefully you guys like what you see <laughs> and it doesn't look like a big blur. Well, I have a few more pieces uh, to add, I think, to my project for tomorrow, but other than that, taking it quite easy getting a little bit of therapy right here with this art journal page. It almost looks like landscape, which I kind of like. So I'm allowing some of these brown, uh, these uh, this black that I sprayed out to kind of uh, give it like a muddied effect in some areas because it kind of looks like there's a uh, far away land back there. And since she kind of looks like a princess, I thought that would uh, actually be okay. Um, actually add to my piece. So I'm scrubbing out some of that black, um, some of those browns. Mixing it with a little bit of that gold. Just kind of give it a, I don't know, some kind of feeling. I don't know what kind of feeling yet. <laughs> Thank you, love. Yes. We're trying, we're trying. <laughs> you know how that goes, Teresa. 
We're trying, girl. We're trying. Gonna add a little bit of this blue right along the top here. Mm -hmm. Let's make it look like um like it's a lake. Something like a lake. Use your imagination, folks. Use your imagination. <laughs> Okay, you guys know I could get carried away with this stuff, right? So I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop, you guys, because I can get carried away. I can get carried away. Let me add a little bit of green. <laughs> some turquoise, some turquoise into the mix, right? You might as well. And along here, let me spray this down so I could um, watercolor it in a little bit. And even though some of my colors they get a little bit muddy, um, it actually works in my advantage for this. So I'm actually quite okay with that. You can never go wrong with um metallic paints. Well, in theory, right? You can't go wrong with these kind of things. Um, I think I think that's it for me with the brushing and the adding. At least for now. So let me grab, let me grab this. Cause she's kind of like sitting here and let me grab these. And I don't want to drop one of those. And I'm going to use that same color, but I think I'm going to scribble it on this time and this is like a like a brick red almost but when you water it down it kind of looks like a mauve kind of color so i really like that so i'm going to add it to the paper this time so that i can have uh hopefully richer edges and then lighter um towards the center then i'm going to wet my brush and watercolor that down just a bit. So my page is somewhat very busy, I think. But I think it kind of works in a very strange kind of way. Why am I shaking water? I don't know. But um, I'm gonna do this and want my brush. And try to break down some of this color. Let's see how that works. Um, very nicely. It does break down. So this is a really good alternative to um, 
the Tim Holt crayons, even though they're not exactly the same, but they're very, very close in quality, I will say. And um, they dissolve quite nicely. I will have to test them out like on a gesso surface um, just to kind of see. Oh, I can take off some of this black. Oh, nice. Get some of this black in there. But um, they do a really nice job, so I like it. Back in there. So that's going to be right along that bottom edge, like so. And what am I going to do? I think, I think, I think I'm going to stamp it. But maybe not with that stamp. Maybe with this one. Thank you, thank you. Um, with my black. Nothing like excess, right? <laughs> Nothing like excess. That's what Carmen says. So we got a little bit of script going on in there. Let's go ahead and glue that baby down. Um, where am I gonna place her? Where is she? Oh, she's right here. She's right here. And then I have to see like where I'm gonna be going these in. Are you guys able to see that well? Let me see if I can zoom this in. You guys got a good view. Let's see. Okay, let me grab um let me grab the other bits and pieces that I have under here. And bring them to the top again. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that's going to kind of go. Um, Let's see. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mostly glue the bottom of this so that I can tuck in all the other pieces and I'll fill in the rest with the glue. This is actually the, um, the rim to the top of, um, to the top of this. But since I'm not going to use it, I might as well use it for this. 
Thank you, Teresa. And my page like is a little bit was a little wet, so we're gonna try to figure this out as best as we can. I know some of you guys have to wake up early in the morning. Yes, I saw on those two. We gotta go to work. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to do that. It's tough on one in right there. Touch that one in right there. Hey, Jackie. How you doing? And so, touch that one in right there. We're gonna add this one in right here. I have to be able to um, keep it inside of my little ledge here of my page. So I'm going to tuck this one in here. In there. She's gonna go in there. She's slipping on that. Like this is coming out from behind her. Yep. Sorry, sorry. And where's the other piece? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. 
Thank you, Jackie. Just have to hold some things down. No, I dirtied her ear with my dirty little fingers. Dang it. All right, let me place a flower there because I don't dirty her ear up. <laughs> now I gotta place a little flower there or something. Oh, right. Um, let me see if I find a little flower punch. Without wrecking my project for tomorrow. Let's see. Hey, Leilani. No problem, Keisha. Thanks for stopping by. Looking for flowers, you guys. That's in my little bucket here. Um, no, Teresa, I don't hang all of my projects in my home. Um, I was actually saying that I'm going to be having a little bit of an auction. Um, for some of the projects that I have, just so that I can kind of refreshen up my little palette here. I do have um, some that I do hang up. I have a few choice pieces that I have in my home, like in my living room and like that. But um, I don't have too, too many, honestly. Just looking to see where I found one of these little teeny tiny little flowers that I've punched out. I have a lot of my loose petals in this little can right here. I'm just trying to see if I can find one that'll suit my needs. It might have to be this pink one. I actually picked one up from the little garden there. Good night, Nada. Thanks for stopping by. And yes, Leilani, no worries, sweetie. No worries. You let us know way before everything kind of started happening, so we're good to go. Um, let's see. Let me get one of my little tools if I can find it on my little pouch. Let me just curve this little flower out just a little bit. I found one that's rather small. I think will fit the bill. I'm just um distressed. I'm not distressing it. I'm doing the whole thing on my bob with the little tool here. 
just trying to bring that flower kind of in a little bit. So that I can cover up her little messed up ear. <laughs> I messed up her ear, you guys. I messed up her ear. That'll do. That'll do. But my fingers are dirty. All right. Yes, I know. When, right now? All right, I'll check that once I'm done, which I'm about to be done any second now. We're almost there. Um, that's the wrong way. This way. Yes, that's the goal, Teresa. My very first time selling my artwork. So we'll see how that kind of goes. I'm kind of happy and very worried <laughs> all at the same time. Because it's extremely difficult to um, put prices on the things that you do because of the time that it takes to do them, the materials that you use. So I don't know. I've given away so much of my stuff that, um, it's like I was saying earlier, I don't even know if people would um, be interested in buying since a lot of people have artwork of mine already. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. But I'm I'm excited and hopeful, all wrapped up in one. All right, let me go ahead and glue this little thing, my bob, right here. Since I messed her up, yeah, that'll work, right? That'll work, right, guys? And let me get a little bit of this stickle thing, whatever this thing is called, this nouveau drop. A little drop right there. So. That'll level out. I, ha I guess I have to let it dry for a minute or two, which I won't be closing this book. But I think, you guys, I think, I think I'm done. Yeah, I think so. I hope you guys enjoyed it um, and found it fairly entertaining. <laughs> but I think I'm done. So I didn't use this little leaf. I don't think I needed to use this little leaf. Should I have to attach this little leaf somewhere? No, we'll leave that. No biggie on that little leaf right there. So I'm gonna leave my page open like this so that it can dry. Chances are is that I'll fiddle with it because I never know how to leave well enough alone. That's just unfortunately who I am. So I probably will end up playing with this at some point, no time soon, but at some point um, I will be selling the pages of my journals. Some of them, not all of them, obviously. Um, but I will be putting up some choice pages up, up for sale. Once I finish my journals and I've, um, I'm able to take the pages apart, you know, like take the individual pages apart, um, I might end up doing something like that, but not no time soon, no time soon. That'll be somewhere way, way down in the future. <laughs> but let me show you guys what this page came out like. And again, this journal is massive, you guys. Um, there is lots and lots of work in this it's almost full it's almost full i've done so many different things on here this one's almost done i have a little bit left on this one so this one might be happening sooner rather than later um but still have a ways to go i don't use this journal all the time so this is what uh if i can get it in here so this is what um, the bottom looks like. I'm just gonna get it in frame and I'll start kind of bringing that down gradually. And I'm gonna let it thoroughly dry before I add um, shadowing and stuff because I will be going into it to like add more shadowing um, to some sections. It almost looked like she's in front of a lake bed. Like that's the illusion in my mind that I was trying to recreate. Um, let me see if I can get it's a lot of glare on here, but. 
and that's more or less how this one kind of came out and i might go into it and just do a little bit more here and there but i'll, I'll let it dry first before i fiddle with it or add other things to it um but yeah this is today's art journal page it was done in my true fashion and form which is completely unprepared all i had was the doll <laughs> and everything else kind of came together last minute yeah that's all the metallic on um, paint so thank you guys so so much i will not take up any much more of your precious time i hope that you've enjoyed this um check us out tomorrow for the timeless memories a vintage hop check out all the participants um i will be announcing my winner um very soon next week I'm still doing math. Um, even though it was eight, I, everybody, you know, I have to do all the points for everybody and make the whole appropriate and correct list. Um, and then I'll be doing most likely a quick, um, a quick live stream to pull out the winner for that sometime in the middle of the week. I'm not sure what day, but um, I'll let you guys know in my community post. I'll put up, you know, the day that it's going to happen so you guys are aware. Thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me. As always, it's been my pleasure and have an awesome awesome rest of the weekend you guys and i will catch you all on the next one hugs love and blessings bye